हेलो ब्रज यस सीर Captain, uh, forward, radio check. Yes, uh, good morning, loud and clear. Uh What's good, you guys? Welcome back to another day from the beautiful blue high seas. We are done with the African coasting. Presently in the Indian Ocean, en route to the next port, which is Tanjung Pelle Pass in Malaysia. Those of you who are following me for a while know that all the ships go there, all the merged ships at least. Anyway, on this particular uh, African coasting, I'm sure you must have learned many things, especially about how these cranes are required in these African ports for loading and discharging our own cargo. And you also saw dolphins, not dolphins, whales. Sorry, you saw whales. Yeah, how can you miss that episode? Do check it out. I was very lucky to find these humpback whales. Beautiful episode. For now, I'm going to go back inside the bridge. It was too hot, hot outside. We were in 10, 11 degrees Celsius, and in one week, we are back to 35 degrees Celsius. That's the dynamic life of seafarers. Let's start with the route overview before I keep uh, crying. Let's let's stop it. I'm going to start with the egg dish. As you see, we have already covered a lot of the journey. We are presently at the exit of the Indian Ocean, and this time we didn't have anything special here. No heavy weather, nice and smooth. So um, nothing to blog about and nothing to complain about. Anyway, so at this particular waypoint, which is another 92 nautical miles, we're going to make our turn, exit from Indian Ocean, just south of this Rondo Island, and. Uh, As per stories I've heard, Rondo Island is the island where there are a lot of pirates of Indonesia. Many ships have also run aground here because there is sudden current coming from here and here, and it just pushes you up top. So that's something we have to be aware of. So guys, it is evening time. I just came out for a quick sunset view, and I saw Rondo Island. Wait, so there is that island. It's actually quite round. Maybe that's why it's called Rondo. Got some more small islands along with it, and that is where they say there are a lot of pirates from Indonesia. But I have never encountered anything. And you've got a lot of traffic now starting in, so night watch is going to be fun. What I really love about these small ships with less cargo is that through the windows, I can see all other things which are happening outside. Like right now, we are passing between these two islands, the Rondo Island and this island. I don't know the name, but I've got two such beautiful portholes. Windows are known as portholes, and a view like this is the biggest reason for me to continue in the merchant navy because this is as close as. You can get to nature, like literally, literally. There's water, and there's a beautiful sky. Okay, let me focus on it. Yeah, like I showed you. So I'm happy. I'm gonna crash for a while, and then I have to start my second job, which is the editing process. Sorry about this shirt. Uh, after three months of contract, you start becoming lazy a little bit. So excuse me for that. <laughs> I'm gonna crash for a while. Guys. See you later. So 
Guys, right, these were the islands which we passed in the evening. As you saw, took a turn here. Ah, uh, the chief mate made a shortcut. <laughs> anyway, we are right now still not into the Malacca Strait. Tomorrow afternoon, when I come on watch, we'll start. And this is the one fathom bank. So tonight will be a decent night. Nothing much here. I am just preparing a few other things, some paperwork for TPP. This is a good example to see how suddenly we were going fine on the course. And we got hit by a 2.6 knot current pushing us from our starboard quarter. And you see the set. We are heading 106 and over ground we are doing 100. So around 6 degree we have a drift. So this is very important. That's why once we are here in the corners, there's a lot of water which suddenly gushes through this Indian Ocean over here and there's all all sorts of you know counter currents happening here so very important to keep an important lookout especially at night of course you can't see anything right now The next day and in the evening we are going to start with the one fathom bank. Right now we are with small situations with the fishing boats and we've got another island just outside as, as you see from my door on the bridge. So uh, it's a gloomy kind of a day. I thought it would be sunny and you know nice clouds and yeah whatever but uh, it's okay. I'll uh, head back. To the situations over here, there are fishing boats, many fishing boats and there's a vessel which is coming right ahead. So I've given an alteration of starboard of around uh, 10 degrees from the original, pass it clear and then we'll go back onto our original track to be aware of this wreck as well. So this is the problem in Malacca State. There are many wrecks like this and fishing boats so you have to Maneuver clear of all of this while maintain your course and depths and whatnot. So many things. I'm going to show you something interesting. This is the passage plan file. And I'll show you as a second mate what I have to prepare. This section, this reporting section. So of course we have passed this. This is the Surnav. So we're going to go to uh, Malacca Strait, Singapore Strait. So this is from ALRS volume number 6. So in volume 6, for those who are uh, preparing to be a navigator, you get all the reportings and pilot details. So I've taken out from there and I'll show you the chart exactly so it's easier for you to understand. So this is exactly the system, the sector arrangement in Malacca Strait and Singapore Strait. We'll reach here in the afternoon today and for good uh, order, I have printed this out. Sorry, it's all uh, up, upside down. Okay, so this is for the Singapore Strait and that was for Malacca Strait. Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Emma. Emma Musk is here. The first ship on which I started vlogging. Looking beautiful. I miss her. Believe me guys, I miss Emma. That was one of the most spectacular ships I have ever been on. And it feels good to, you know, Revisit her in Malacca Strait. So uh, beautiful, beautiful. This is life. So guys, we just got a message that our ETA has changed as normal in Malaysia. We have to slow down. So now the telegraph is set to full head, and after some time, I have to get it to half head. So we cannot reduce this immediately at this particular RPM because there's a load program. Of course, in emergency, we can cancel it. But now I have to wait for the engineers. They will give me a call and then advise me to set the relevant RPM from here, from this fine tuning and then the telegraph moment. So I'm happy because it's 12 o'clock tomorrow. So I will get my proper seven hours sleep. Yes. <laughs> the call, guys. 
Hello, Raj. Yes, sir. Uh, I can. So required is uh, 44 RPM, which is half ahead. 43. So, हाँ जी. So we can go to half ahead. Okay, guys. Confirmation from Chief. I'm going to go to Chief Engineer. I'm going to half ahead. And we are right now nicely entering the strait. Nothing much around. Not many ships this time. Very happy about that. Nice and calm. Not much wind. You can see the wake of the propeller. You know, wow, this is so good. Slowly, it's making and it is lasting for a very long way. That is that is something new. It's nice. Malacca Strait, and yeah, this is the precautionary area. Presently in sector three, so the coastline is of course not visible. But uh, many ships, as you see, so mostly they are doing less speed than us. So we will be overtaking all of them. And a uh, few important things you want to see here are like the shallow patches where we have boys, and uh, boys can be visually tracked outside. But uh, the camera cannot do justice to that. Otherwise, we've got precautionary areas. This is the traffic separation scheme. These arrows tell us which way is the direction of the traffic. DW is deep water route. So all the ships which are heavy in draft. So let's let's check out what uh, the draft is for this particular vessel. So if you see the AIS details. Okay. So uh, draft twenty point five meters. Wow, that's a lot. So maybe a VLCC. So they have this dedicated deep water channels. Otherwise, yeah, these are the reportings as marked. Rex, I have marked whichever are in our way. You know, just highlight them. Captain, uh, forward. Data check. Time to have lunch. Got egg curry, pumpkin, fish, pork, aloo, dal, and uh, soya. So, yeah, well deserved, man. It's 11:45, so I have another 15 minutes to have this, and then I start my watch. And we've got a lot of things to do today, a lot. So, well, what's happening is that our So our Solas first aid kit from the rescue boat and lifeboat are expiring. So the Viking guys are here, the service guys, and have to get this ashore and get the new ones. So 
that's the responsibility of second officer on the ship life boat all the life saving appliances and there is right now service going on as you see the hatches are open and both the sides they going to inspect these uh, equipments for safety te load test and all so this is the annual uh, requirement we are covering right now yeah These are the forklifts which are getting up pallets, and we are picking up our provisions and stores. So many things are on the other side. So it's quite hectic, and uh, yeah, within four hours we have managed to, you know, load most of the things. But it's still very, very tiring. Sweets, provisions, butter, bread. So great stuff coming in, guys. I'm excited about these chocolates, ice cream. I just finished my first shift. There's a sunset about to happen, but that does not make a difference because I still have to finish my edit and upload it because you know on the port I have to always upload. And this is the tough part about being a YouTuber as well. No complaints because I have chosen it personally. But man, now starts the second job, and we don't have much time here in Malaysia because the port rotation is very quick. So yeah. I sometimes think I am crazy and <laughs> YouTube makes me crazy. I'm here to prepare the bridge for the final checks of you know uploading the route. So our next destination is in Korea, Pyongyang. So you got to witness a new port after this and uh, of course I have to do all the checks, paperwork, so many things. So guys our cargo operations are complete. I am here for the draft. and i'll tell you that this draft is 10.45 meters just between the four mark as you see okay guys i'm going to go for the forward draft now comment what you think is the forward draft so we are officially done with all the cargo operations our crane have left the cargo is being secured right now i am on the jetty for the drafts as you saw and this is it next we head to korea and that is a new port which you all have not seen and also a few chinese ports you haven't seen so stay tuned for that i'm going to go back onto the gangway up to my ship once again